Okay, let me start anew here. So what I have here is the uh, current observations with the radar overlaid across the region. We are starting to see that Arctic air make its way into uh, central uh, Montana right now. We are seeing that Arctic air start spilling over uh, the continental divide right now at Marias Pass and filter in on the Highway uh, 2 corridor. So that's going to probably be our biggest uh, impact is just the extreme cold air associated with that Arctic. So let me go back here. And so what I'm showing here is the probability of Arctic air uh, making it into uh, the area. Um, right now, there's a 5% chance of that Arctic air making it into uh, Kalispell by about 11 a.m. this morning. Um, but I just kind of want to just give a qu quick overview on kind of timing on how that Arctic air is going to come in. We are expecting it to really push it across northwest Montana by Thursday, and it kind of gets stalled out there due to some really strong westerly winds. And then after that disturbance, uh, those west winds die, that Arctic air will steadily push across the region by uh, Friday morning and be with us for the next several days. So to kind of go back here on our reflectivity, so this is kind of just showing the reflectivity for what the models will think will happen, at least how our radar will uh, depict it as precipitation moves in. We are experiencing experiencing or expecting some light showers off and on with some steady snow uh, impacting the Glacier Park National Area. And then we also do have that disturbance over the Clearwater and uh, Idaho counties that will continue to move through. Um, but again, it's going to be mostly shower activity off and on uh, with this period. The period that I really want to kind of highlight is during the day on Thursday. We are expecting precipitation to really start picking up across northwest Montana uh, during the morning hours and then the shower activity over the remainder of the northern Rockies. Then we have this disturbance that we're expecting Thursday afternoon uh, to make its way into the region uh, that will interact with that Arctic front. Um, and we could get some pretty intense snow uh, underneath that interaction. Uh, this is where we're struggling on exactly where that interaction's strongest interaction is going to be. But this is a pretty good si uh, system that's coming in. So we are expecting some hefty snow all, all across Idaho, a good portion of uh, west central Montana. Um, but again, a big concern is where this disturbance in that Arctic air will line up. Uh, could see the, the highest impacts. But again, we're anticipating some pretty intense snow um, with these bands, even uh, south of that Arctic air, which could drive down some really gusty west winds and really have some pretty intense snow for short periods of time. So there's a lot of different aspects to uh, the precipitation, especially on the Thursday, Thursday evening uh, time frame. And then the bulk of that uh, shower activity will shift to the south. I know in yesterday's briefing, I was talking about another disturbance coming in on Saturday. The models have depicted that going farther to south. There is still some concern for Idaho and Clearwater County, um, but the latest model trends have been to push that uh, to the south, more into central Idaho, which will allow more clearing to occur uh, across northwest Montana. So just looking at storm total uh, snowfall uh, for this event, uh, starting now and ending at 5 a.m. on Saturday, uh, again, we're looking at some pretty impressive snowfall totals uh, across the area over the next 72 hours, uh, with northwest Montana potentially getting 6 to 10 inches of snow in the valleys, uh, the higher terrain uh, potentially getting uh, up to two feet of snow. And then over here in uh, Idaho Clearwater County is again looking at about two feet plus in the mountains, about 15 inches in the Pierce area, and even Oral Fino and Grangeville uh, right now 
gain about eight inches. And again, this is the middle uh, of our models. So if we look at the low end of our models, what, what's the least amount that they're kind of depicting? They're still indicating a pretty hefty snowfall event occurring over in uh, north central Idaho and even up across uh, northwest Montana. Uh, there is still some uncertainty in exactly how much snow uh, will fall, like I said, with that interaction with the Arctic and the disturbance. So this area along the I-90 corridor and the Highway 200 could actually be higher than what we're depicting um, in these uh, guidance. And I think that that's kind of being shown up here, and this is the 75th. So this is kind of the higher end of the snowfall amounts. So it's kind of depicting that, that higher band kind of setting up right here. But again, Northwest Montana could get quite a bit and then really focusing in on that North Central Idaho. Southwest Montana and Lemhi will get snow, but just not to the amounts that we're gonna be seeing um, across uh, Idaho Clearwater County into West Central and Northwest Montana. So with that Arctic air uh, coming in, we are anticipating some pretty gusty winds associated with it. So I'm gonna just show two quick little snapshots. This one is a Thursday afternoon. I, I do think the Arctic air and Northeast winds will be coming into the area uh, starting by Thursday morning, but I think the strongest winds from that Arctic is really gonna start picking up and impacting that Flathead Valley. Uh, come Thursday afternoon with gust potential of 30, maybe even 40 uh, periods of 50 right at that uh, Bad Rock Canyon. Uh, as I said earlier, we do have some really strong westerly winds uh, coming across um, uh, north central Idaho into west central. With those bands, those intense winds could mix down to the surface causing blowing and drifting snow and uh, we could see visibility reduction. So, uh, really looking at some uh, intense uh, winds on uh, Thursday afternoon. Then by Thursday evening, late evening, is when I think the easterly winds will start making its way into Missoula uh, and along the Highway 12 and Highway 200 corridors uh, of West Central Montana. And as you can see, those westerly winds are starting to relax and shift to the south. So that's gonna allow that Arctic air uh, to start moving in. So with those winds, with the Arctic air, uh, I'm gonna quickly show uh, wind chills, potential wind chills uh, across the region. So this is Thursday mornings, uh, uh, Thursday mornings wind chills. We're looking at about uh, negative one uh, across Kalispell, uh, 13 degrees in Missoula. But again, the Arctic air will really just be getting into uh, uh, Northwest Montana. And then by Thursday, Friday morning, we're looking at wind chills of about negative 28 uh, up in Kalispell, negative six in, in Missoula, negative seven in Butte. And even over in the uh, uh, north central Idaho, their wind chills are gonna start getting into the single digits and, and teens for this. And then by Saturday morning, the winds should start relaxing, but that's when we'll actually have some of the coldest temperatures around. Um, but even with the lightest breeze, we're gonna see wind chills approaching negative 40 uh, across uh, the Glacier National Park, and maybe even a, a couple areas of negative 50 if there is a breeze. But around Missoula, negative 21 and negative 24 uh, at Butte. So some really extreme uh, wind chills uh, with this event. Yeah. So that Arctic air is gonna be bringing in some of the coldest air that we've seen in uh, several decades uh, across the region. Uh, so this is uh, depicting just the minimums that we're expecting each morning. Uh, here is Friday morning. Uh, we're looking at a low of negative 19 in Kalispell, negative 12, maybe even uh, negative uh, 25 to negative 30 over in the uh, uh, Garrison Junction area. So some just extreme cold air associated with this. These lows are a little hard to depict because we're still gonna have some cloud cover and, and some winds associated with it. So uh, they could be a little bit warmer than what we're uh, depicting on this image. But come Saturday morning, uh, those winds will, will relax. We're looking at quite a bit of uh, uh, clear skies across the area, especially Northwest Montana, uh, that we'll probably see Kalispell getting down to maybe negative 34 
uh, maybe negative 40 up in the Pole Bridge area. Uh, the negative 29 in Missoula, it, again, a little bit tough. We could still have a little bit of a breeze, so the temperatures could be a little bit warmer. But with that breeze, those wind chills are going to just be substantial. So even though the actual temperature might not be that low, the wind chills could be very dangerous for this. And then also uh, negative 40 potentially along the I-90 corridor and the Highway 200 corridor uh, across Ovando, Garrison Junction uh, area. Uh, as I depicted, that cold air will get over into uh, north central Idaho. Grangeville has the potential of negative six. This cold air will be sticking with us for the next several days, just a very slow modification uh, across the area. So uh, just expect temperatures to just warm slightly. Actually, Sunday morning, we could actually see just as cold, or maybe some areas will actually get their coldest temperatures Sunday morning, and then slight warming on uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday timeframe. So just to kind of look at probabilities uh, across the area. So we look at a lot of different models, uh, and they all kind of depict things fairly differently, but uh, this is set at a threshold at negative 30. So what's the probability of negative 30 uh, across the area come Saturday morning? Up in Kalispell, we're looking at about a 71. Uh, Pole Bridge, 98%. Uh, Here in Missoula, about a 60%. Uh, Garrison Junction, looking at a 93% of temperatures being at least negative 30 or even colder. Uh, Butte has about a 70%. Um, so some really extreme temperatures uh, for this uh, time frame. So that's really what all I wanted to show and kind of talk about in this briefing. But I, I really encourage anybody, if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask me and I'll try to zoom into your area 